Greetings from the Mountain Farmhouse. I'm Wendy and in this video I'll show you how to get started with Crochet Basics. Welcome to the fun-filled world of crochet. You're going to begin with your yarn and a hook. I would go with the hook size recommendations that are on your yarn label for now. First we'll start by making a slip knot. Loop the yarn around your finger as shown and pull a loop through leaving a bit of yarn as a tail and the yarn attached to the ball is called the working yarn. Insert your hook through your loop and pull the yarn end to tighten but don't make it too tight. Take the working yarn and loosely wrap it around your pinky and over your forefinger as shown. This will help create tension. Hold the tail between your thumb and forefinger adjusting as you work. Wrap the working yarn around the hook as shown and that's called a yarn over. Now pull the yarn through the loop that's there on the hook and that is the first of your chain stitches. Now make several of these chain stitches to practice. Try to keep them as even as you possibly can and after you've made about 10 or 20 chain stitches let's learn how to single crochet but you can see I'm still making the chain stitches here. If you are outside the United States, a single crochet is sometimes called a double crochet. Okay, there's your chain. You'll want to set up your working yarn the same as you did before. In your working yarn hand, you'll also want to hold the chain between your thumb and middle finger while helping guide the hook and the yarn with your forefinger. To make a single crochet, insert the hook in the first chain near the hook, yarn over, pull through. Now you have two loops on the hook. Yarn over and pull through both loops. That's your first stitch. Again, insert your hook through the chain, yarn over, pull through. You have two loops on your hook, yarn over, pull it through both loops. Keep going until you're at the end of the chain. That'll be your first row. Turn your project so that you're working into the direction of it again. You're always working from the crochet hook end into the yarn end. Now you'll set yourself up again, make a chain, and then you're going to insert the hook into that little V there and that's the whole stitch. You'll yarn over, pull it through those loops and you have two loops on the hook yarn over again and pull that through the two loops. That's your single crochet into a regular single crochet stitch. Let's do it again. Yarn through the stitch, yarn over, pull through, two loops on the hook, yarn over, pull it through those two loops. Continue till you reach the end of this row and then you'll repeat it again. You'll repeat several times as needed and you'll make a small swatch or a square. But you see now the second row is taking shape. There it is. 